Whenever we get to the point where we think we know it all, that's a dangerous point. To have the mind so fixed, to be filled with a cement in that way where it's immovable, that it's already made up its mind, that's a dangerous point in life. I've known people that have said, well, you know, I, I don't need to know any more about that. I know everything. That's a dangerous point. I've known ministers, too, that have said, well, you know, I've, I've got a fixed opinion. Listen, there's always more that you can learn. There's always more to know about God. And you have to be willing, in a spiritual point, in a humble point, to change your mind, to become teachable, to be constantly learning from God, to be a continuous student. I can remember one time in a theological class, someone asked the very wise instructor, uh, what is the meaning of death? Why do humans have to go through death? And, and he said, as he, he rocked back in his chair, he said, sometimes it's the only way to get out of fixed human mind. And I've thought about that a lot. I, you know, there's race consciousness and, and you know, a, a mob consciousness of, you know, where everybody forms a fixed opinion. And it takes a generation to come out of that viewpoint. Well, not for me, not for you. Like any student of life, we know that we can be constantly learning and learn constantly when we remember that God is our supreme instructor, that we're always open to new ideas, new ways of looking at things. Every experience is an opportunity for growth. And we look at it that way. We think of ourselves as a student. And I don't care if you're 100 years old. You're a student of life. Every experience we learn from. We learn from what has happened to us. But that learning experience also becomes a part of who we are. And it makes us better. Each day we go into the day as a student growing and learning. The person that we were yesterday has become wiser and stronger. And we may not know why some events happened in our life the way that they did, but we don't need to know why at a given point. We just pray that we can learn from the experience. Here's what it says in Psalms 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. What a beautiful Bible verse that is. That no matter what we're going through, we're not going through it alone. We're going through it with the presence of God watching out for us. So we know that God is our instructor. And we, as a follower, are a willing and an eager student.